This is Jeff Bagwell, Public Information Officer for Rural Metro Fire here in Knox County, Tennessee. Today we're out at Station 15 off Summerwood Road, which is directly off of Middlebrook Pike in the Cedar Bluff community. We're talking specifically today about water and water availability in the event of a house fire. We've had some questions come up about whether or not the fire department has the capability to fight fire before they can attach to a fire hydrant. And a lot of people have the uh, misconception that the fire department can't fight a fire if they don't connect to a fire hydrant. So today we're out here, we wanted to visually show you these two apparatus, we call them apparatus fire trucks, that are specifically assigned to this station. So anytime in this geographic area of Knox County where you would have a fire call, engine 15 and tender 15 are going to respond to that fire. Well, engine 15 carries a thousand gallons of water Tender 215 carries 1,250, so together that's 2,250 gallons of water that we have on board with us when we arrive in order to combat a fire. The biggest thing we want people to realize is early notification along with a quick response time with water can minimize the damage done by a fire because we bring the water with us. We only connect to a fire hydrant when we need copious amounts of water, when the fire has gotten too large for us to manage with the water that we carry on our rigs. So it is capable for us to, it is possible for us to fight a fire without connecting to a fire hydrant. And in fact, a lot of the fires that we fight, we put out with the water that we bring with us. We never do connect to a fire hydrant. To room and contents, it may be a furniture piece that's on fire, small fire in a house that we can put out with two or 300 gallons of water and potentially even carry that appliance or that piece of furniture out into the yard to extinguish it. So there are many, many ways to extinguish a fire without necessarily connecting to a fire hydrant. Albeit, we do like to connect to a fire hydrant because we know we get lots of water from them. This is Jeff Bagwell again. We're out in the suburbanized part of Knox County in the Cedar Bluff area. We're talking about fire hydrants and we're talking about how the fire department operates when there's not a fire hydrant real, real close or in the front yard of, of a house. We've already showed you the capabilities that each fire engine has with the amount of water that we carry. And we talked about early notification and calling early when you notice a fire, not waiting until after you've tried to put it out yourself, notifying the fire department as soon as possible. But the last thing is, and we've seen in this last shot, is the fire department carries, each truck carries a thousand feet of what we call large diameter hose. This is five inch hose that is large enough, we call it a water main on top of the ground. We connect it to a fire hydrant, we can lay a thousand feet out. 
So the, in the shot you just saw, the fire engine is a thousand feet from the fire that is behind me or the fire truck that's pumping at the fire scene. Beyond that hydrant or that truck is another thousand feet to where the water source is. So we call that relay pumping where we put a pumper in between and we boost the pressure and we can conceivably go two or maybe even 3,000 feet from a fire hydrant. It takes a little time to set up, but again, the initial operation is going to be fought and the initial fire is going to be fought with the water that we bring with us. The water that we get out of a fire hydrant, out of a static water supply source, comes from a hydrant and that comes later on as we get into the operation we need more and more water. Anytime, go to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, check out all our videos, keep up with us, look, up, look us up on social media, on our YouTube channels, on our Instagram and Facebook. In the meantime, thank you for watching from West Knox County.